Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you few of the HTML helper classes. So I have a simple project that is nothing but your MVC project, which is empty. Now I'm going to add a controller, new item. I'm going to add a controller. Say home. As we know very well that home is the default controller. I'm going to add a view. So I'll right click and say add view for this index and I'll name it as index let it be. Let's remove this. I'm using razor. Say add. Now I got an empty view. I have a form with me that we already saw in our previous videos. I'll just copy this and paste it here. It is a simple registration form which contains name, age, gender, qualification, a drop down list, text area, email address, a checkbox and a submit button and a reset button. I'll just save this and I'll execute it. So here I get the form. Whenever I submit the form let us see whether it is going to redirect us. So it should be in action home insert. So in the home controller, you should have one more action called as insert. So we do not have that as of now. And we are using post method. So let me add that insert action. Simply copy this. Paste it here. And I will name it as insert and I'll say return a string and here I'm going to say good inserted save this and execute it I get the form I'll just click submit so it is taking me to home inserted and it, it is returning good inserted that's fine I'm going to rewrite the same app or the same form using HTML helper classes. We have this form tag. Instead of writing this form tag, this form tag contains this table. So instead of writing this form tag, I can simply say at using in this I can say HTML dot begin form for the form tag I can use HTML class that is helper class and I can say begin form and here I can pass some parameters that is nothing but the action name so we know that our action is insert so I'll pass the action name that is nothing but insert and then I'll pass the controller name. The controller name is home. Then I'm going to pass the method, form method, which is nothing but post. So I'll say form method dot get or post. And I'll close this. Now I'll take this complete table and drop it here and I'll try to remove this form tag it means what we have replaced the form tag with our begin form HTML helper class save this and execute it it should work in the same way as it was working earlier so yes it is working in the same way now Instead of writing the text as is, enter your name, I can use helper class so that it becomes a complete HTML helper classes form dot label and the expression is this. That's it. 
label is replaced with HTML dot label and for text box I can say at HTML dot text box here I can pass the name of the text box or ID of the text box that is nothing but name now I do not need this input tag anymore so I'll just remove this save it and I'm going to execute it so I got the same text box and the same label if I right click and say view page source see that it is generating a label and an input tag with ID as name and a attribute name as well as name so whatever we pass the parameter it will set ID as well as name to this value in the same way I can rewrite this so I'll simply copy and paste it here this will be H enter your H and the text box will be H this is fine now I'll just go for one more label here copy paste it here plus here comes the other control that is radio button we have helper class again for radio button that is HTML dot radio button and here I need to pass the name that is nothing but gender and value say M for male copy this and I'll replace this this input tag as well as this input tag. Now I have two radio buttons. One is for male, another is for female. Save this. Now coming towards a drop down list, it is a little bit tricky. You will see that. Now before that, let me write HTML helper class for address same way for text area we have the ideal copy text area is nothing but at HTML dot I have text area save this and this is again simple text box I agree terms and condition again it is a label so I'll say at HTML dot label here I'll write I agree terms and conditions Finally, I have a checkbox. So I have one more helper class HTML dot checkbox and the name is accept. Now, what I want is by default, I want to set this checkbox checked. So I just put a comma and I can pass a parameter say true. It will be checked by default. I can remove this checkbox. Finally, I have submit button. So here we do not have any HTML dot submit method or a button method. But we know very well that submit is again an input tag with type submit. So I can use text box. HTML dot text box. 
can give some name, some identity, say test, comma, I'll just pass a null value for the object. Then I need to set HTML attribute. So I'll say new, I'm setting an attribute type equals to submit. This will generate and submit button. Save this. I'll remove this submit button. In the same way, I'll simply copy this and paste it here. I'll name it as reset and type equals to reset. So here I generate submit button here I generate a reset button in the same way if I want I can also generate I'll just copy this row paste it here say I'll add a label at HTML dot label and here I'll say upload your resume and here I can say same thing resume here and instead of this I'll say file save it execute this so here I get the form name age gender male or female Anyway, drop down list we haven't worked with it. We got text area, text box, checkbox, upload, file upload control. Then you have submit button, you have reset button. Now the text on submit button. Submit. Text on reset button. Reset. says submit it says reset so that's it this is very simple now we are left with the drop down list let us look into the list in our next video thank you very much